Okay, so we have our methyl salicylate, and we are going to pipette that into our round bottom flask. Okay, so there's two and a half mils of methyl salicylate. Okay, now I need five grams of sodium hydroxide, and I think I've got that pretty darn close. Swirling this sodium hydroxide till it dissolves in like 25 mils of water. Swirly, 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 get that stuff dissolving. Okay, now it's good enough. We're gonna add that to our methyl salicylate. Now that solid is not actually the product we're looking for. So we're gonna to have to heat this up for a while in a hot water bath. Okay, so now we're gonna heat this in the hot water bath. Okay, right now the magnetic stirring bar is basically stuck in the precipitate at the bottom. So rather than stirring in the middle of the flask, it's just causing the whole flask to kind of bob around. Uh, that'll fix as soon as it gets hot and stuff starts to dissolve. Okay, so stuff is still warming up, but the solids are starting to dissolve. We can stir. Okay, so now our hot water bath is reached boiling. Okay, most of that solid has dissolved. Okay, there's still some left, but we'll let that sit and stir in the boiling water bath for a while and see what we get. We'll give that half an hour. Okay, and after just a couple of minutes in the boiling water bath, everything is dissolved. So now we'll stir that for another 23 minutes. Okay, now after this is boiled for a while, we can let it cool down a bit so it's close to room temperature. And as you can see, everything's dissolved. Okay, so now we have some ice water, and we are going to take our solution and pour it in that. And now we're going to acidify it. Okay, so now we're going to add the add 25 mils of six molar hydrochloric acid. Okay, and we get lots of precipitate. Okay. We'll let that stir for a bit and then cool it further in an ice bath. And now we are ready to filter out our salicylic acid. And because this is not very soluble in cold water, we can wash with lots of water. Okay. 
And here we have our nice salicylic acid. Okay, ready to be recrystallized. Okay, so here we have our crude salicylic acid. We are going to add some water to dissolve it, or at least get it wet. And then we're going to heat that up. Okay, now we've added just enough water and gotten it nice, hot, and steamy so that all the salicylic acid has dissolved. Okay, now we will take this off and let it cool slowly to room temperature. Okay, and after cooling to room temperature, we have lots of lovely crystals. We will collect those shortly. Okay, so now we have our recrystallized salicylic acid. And we can collect that by vacuum filtering. And because this isn't very soluble in cold water, we can wash lots of it. Okay, and now we have our nice crystals of salicylic acid. Okay, and we shall dry these and then melt, take a melting point and find the percent yield.